What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new... Actually, it's going to be a revisit, a deeper look into the attack strategy that is red hot right now. Like you probably already saw, not only in the previous video that I uploaded on the Falcon, but uh, on some other YouTube channels as well. So... Forbidden is taking on a clan called Punishers. Uh, level 6 clan looks like they're still kind of new on the scene, but definitely have some decent bases and some decent attacks so far this war. But Forbidden, uh, I think, what, maybe 9 out of our 11 10v10, something like that, have all come from using the Falcon attack strategy. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at a few of them. And a couple guys, even six-packing using it. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off uh, with this one right here. So some people were asking, is this attack strategy only working on low-weight bases? The answer to that is absolutely not. If you guys saw it in the other video, I will go ahead and link that down in the description. It's working on, it doesn't matter if it's a tier one, tier two, obviously tier threes. I, I think if I'm not mistaken, all three examples I showed in the previous video were all fully max defense town hall tens. But we'll go ahead and look at a couple different base layouts. Like we said, uh, for the majority of these attacks, it's going to be on pretty much compact layouts similar to this one. But it doesn't matter if the Inferno Towers are all on one end, if they're split, even if it's a if it's a island Inferno Tower compartment, it does not matter. And because of the Queen Walk, it really does add a lot of versatility to this attack. It's not just, you know, where you have to break in where the compartments are leading into the core. I mean, you're, you guys are going to see where Bob aka Tyra Banks, don't ask me how that happened, uh, how Bob is actually going to be getting access, how he's setting up the funnel with a baby dragon, and again, revisiting the attack, the funnel is going to come down to the base identification and what the base calls for. Sometimes you just need a wizard, sometimes you can use a bowler, a baby dragon, use your king, uh, all that stuff is going to come down to base identification when you guys are figuring out how you're going to set the funnel. Uh, but the main principles of this attack is having that queen funnel one side and have her go in behind the Valkyries, behind the bowlers, while they're under uh, three rages and two heals through the core of the base. And usually what will happen is the Valkyries will cut a clean path through the base for all of your troops to follow behind them. And more often than not, what we're seeing is sometimes you don't even have to use your ability. And uh, a lot, another question a lot of people are asking is, uh, well, what if it is a hound? You know, what if it's a hound that comes out of the CC? Because you have your queen your queen under rage chews through that hound so quickly, whether it's a hound, it does not matter. The Valks and the bowlers are all going to go ahead and take off as well as the king. And your queen, she will be beating on it for a few more seconds. But with her under rage, that hound pops in a matter of seconds. Uh, but this one, Bob is going to be wrapping this one up on the hut over there at three o'clock. We'll go ahead and check out. That was one of the lower town, lower weight town hall tents. We'll go ahead and jump up a couple spots so you guys can see a couple more of these examples. Uh, I believe that one was the Falcon. Also, uh, this one right here, um, coming from Legend. I think this is Bob too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but again, a different, a completely different style base layout. Th these are the style like where you guys see these wall compartments on the outside. Um, that's how a lot of Town Hall 10s were starting to build their bases, trying to mess up um, kill squads, funneling a kill squad because Hogs is what was red hot um, before this attack strategy came to the scene. But um, as you guys see, with these wall layouts, does not matter. It's not going to stop. Look, even this queen going to be approaching this single shot Inferno Tower. But as you guys see, he used the king to funnel on this one. Check this out. Like I said, there's a lot of versatility to this attack. It's all about funneling the Valkyries and the Bowlers into the base. Check this out, though. King walked around the outside. Queen walked around the outside. All we have is the Valkyries and the Bowlers inside of the base. Uh, so that's why I definitely wanted to revisit this attack, show you guys 
uh, the different style of bases that it is working on. And it's not just, you know, a cookie cutter type uh, where, you know, you have to have king go inside, you have to have queen go inside, that kind of thing. Uh, the main thing is those bowlers getting the value from the rock skips as they're bouncing off other buildings, taking out defenses, you know, six tiles away, that kind of thing. When they're under rage, uh, the heal spell, healing up the Valkyries. They're pretty much invincible. Valkyries under heal, plus with that rage, chewing through those defenses. They're pretty much, uh, they cannot be taken down when they are underneath those spells. Uh, and he's going to be wrapping up, yes, on the barracks over here. Okay, we'll just go ahead and times finish this one out. Uh, but getting it done, uh, Bob knocking out another one. He's, and he's usually a 10 v 11 guy. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump up. And I know TTT Black, I definitely want to show you guys this one, Mr. Estonia. He also six pack, uh, six pack this war using this attack strategy. And check this out. This one, we got a baby dragon over here up at the top. And we just have an archer over there on the builder hut, queen down. Notice he did not drop his healers right away. Just kind of let that queen work a little bit. Uh, making sure. Oh, another thing that I didn't mention in the last video is you want to make sure whatever side you're choosing to enter on. Uh, it, I mean, it's kind of common sense, but it's something you do have to say. You got to make sure that those air defenses on the initial entry do not uh, target the healer. So it's definitely something you want to be mindful of, of where you're going to be starting the initial queen walk. And here's a, a, another example showing you guys the versatility. Nice bowler bounce to get that mortar. Um, is this one he went ahead and used a rage spell you don't have to use all three of your rages uh, you definitely want to limit it limit it to one uh for the initial queen walk slash queen charge of the attack uh just using one rage for her as she goes ahead and sets the funnel in case you're you're tank you're uh taking on three or four three or four point defenses something like that but check this out entering on a corner uh king down and guys, notice the CC does not matter in this attack. That's why you go ahead and bring those poisons. Uh, like we said in the last video, if you are opting to bring loons, uh, it's always good because you only need one max poison to take out any damage CC. You do not need two. Uh, so it's always good if you are going to be bringing loons uh, to this attack to go ahead and bring that haste spell. Uh, and the reason why you would bring or the types of bases you'd want to bring something like four to eight balloons on is on a base where you're not going to be ending on air defenses. We will be ending on defense on, you know, uh, whether it's wizard towers, archer towers, uh, cannons, things like that. So when they're distracted on your kill squad, you go ahead or that main push, you go ahead and drop down those loons and take out those defenses. And if it's something like hogs, if there are air defenses on the back end, uh, coupled with other uh, ground or air targeting defenses, you always can opt in to bring some hogs as well that's what black did on this attack we'll go ahead and check out his other one but guys these are fully maxed bases uh not only full max defense i mean the walls are maxed it does not matter these valks can beat through with the help of the bowlers they can beat through uh four five six different layers of walls uh of course that was um a lalo from storm uh was it this was it this one lies the best okay yeah we'll go ahead and check out this one aka dulce and gabbana we'll go ahead and check out his attack and i'll show you guys uh black's other attack like i say he did six pack this war and we'll go ahead and wrap up this video and check this out uh dropping or he does have uh two loons he'll be using on the back end just to help take care of a couple defenses and in this one um Dulce, aka Lies the Best, is going to be bringing a skeleton spell. So we'll go ahead and check out exactly how he uses that. So just like we saw in Black's last hit, dropping down that rage because that queen was was uh, taking on quite a few defenses. Uh, but check this out: he funneled this side. He went ahead and funneled that side with just a wizard. Um, and notice he's kind of walking his queen up. Uh, so basically start her at about 2 o'clock, 1.30, walked her up to 12, where he's going to be entering in right over here. Uh, so again, uh, like, like I keep saying, a lot of versatility to this attack. Uh, and again, the back end can change whether you're bringing balloons, whether you're going to be bringing hogs, or whether you're not bringing anything. Maybe you want to just opt in uh, to just bring a few more bowlers. But here we go, entering in at about 10.30, drops down that rage, followed up by that leading heal spell. You want to make sure you don't drop the rage and the heal spell directly over each other. You kind of want to... Um, stagger them out a little bit uh especially when it's over the wall 
is you want to get as much value from those spells, cover as much of the base with the spells as you can. Uh, and just literally carve, as you guys see, where the spells went is pretty much exactly where all the troops went. They pretty much cut a runway right through this base and pretty much nothing left but these defenses kind of on the edges here look you got valkyries running on the outside taking out this trash and this one um again like i said before this had a, a hound in it a, a hound cc did not matter that queen ripped right through it while she was underneath that rage even pretty much gonna be ending on inferno tower but again uh, whether it's single shot, even if it's multi-target infernals, it does not matter. Um, especially if you have a healer, uh, if you have a healer or, or two or, or more up, the healers will heal right through that inferno tower. Uh, does not matter. So we'll go ahead and check out one more example, you guys, before we go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, this one right here. So we'll go ahead and show Black's second attack. And this one um, surprised me in the sense that not, not, not that uh, what surprised me about this attack is the layout. If you guys check it out, this would be pretty much considered more of an open layout style uh, Town Hall 10. So like we were saying, the uh, some people are saying you can use this attack strategy on any Town Hall 10 base layout as long as you can figure out that funnel. Um, but yeah, so... Black definitely uh, showing us that it can work on open layouts. Not, not only do you have both Inferno Towers in these type of, you know, this island style compartments, but look inside. These are, I mean, these would be considered pretty big compartments. I mean, this core only makes up about six compartments. Um, so it's definitely something to take note of, you guys. Uh, whether it's compact, even if it's my, uh, a mile, I guess you could say mildly open, uh, layout like this one. Another thing I wanted while we watch this attack play out before we wrap it up, uh, we found out, okay. We found out, did a little bit of searching. We found out why, and again, so, something again, revisiting, revisiting the attack. A lot of people are asking, why is it called the Falcon? I thought it was just because Falcon rhymes with Valk. You know, there's a little bit of rhyming that is apparently not the case at all what it is is this was a town hall nine attack strategy it was uh town hall nine in faked wargasm and his in-game name was falcon and he was doing this type of uh queen walk um mass valkyrie attack at town hall nine and a couple guys in forbidden said you know what let's go ahead and ch try this out in fcs and let's try it 10v10 why not and clearly it ended up working out um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, like i said i know it's getting a lot of love a lot of coverage on youtube but i wanted to get this one out to you guys revisiting the attack about a week later uh from the first video that we uploaded when forbidden was taken on dark booter z shout out to them i want to give a big shout out um to falcon the guy who actually created this attack as a town hall nine now kind of being transitioned into a town hall 10 attack strategy so i want to give this out to you guys i was watching some of these replays from this war and just saw foul i mean all these tactics back to back to back um and there are a lot of different variations a lot of versatility to this attack like i said go ahead and try it out in fcs and again hopefully you uh it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you like comment and of course subscribe to the channel if you have not already as always this is Riggs from clashing ffs and i'll see you in the very next video.